I'm sitting here with the Creality Ender 3 S1 Plus. This is the big brother of the Ender 3 S1. And we are going to replace the textured PEI bed with a glass bed. However, we will not be debating 3D print beds today. This process is very similar across many Creality 3D printer models. However, unlike several of the older bed slingers, many of the newer models, including models being released today, are fitted with notched beds and these two little guide screws. Printers that came with glass beds as stock will not have these stoppers. You will see two of these stoppers, one on each side of the bed. The purpose of these stoppers is simply to help you align the magnetic print bed. The first thing you want to do is remove them. However, on some models, such as this Ender 3 S1 Plus, you will notice that the little stopper bolt held on this ground wire. It did that using not only the stopper bolt, but a small nut and possibly a small washer too. We are going to re-secure that wire, this time from the bottom using a shorter bolt so it doesn't protrude past the magnet and make contact with our glass. I will be using an M3 by six. Pull the bed back so that you have access to the underside of the bed and simply feed that bolt through the bottom side of the bed. You will see that not only is the wire secure and the threads protruding through the plate, it is not protruding past the magnet and will not make contact with the glass. If you believe it is making contact with the glass, simply add a small washer on the underside to lower this thread a tad. With both screws removed and the ground wire secure, we will now place our glass bed. This is a 310 by 310. If this glass bed has a protective film, be sure to remove it. I have encountered people that were attempting to print having failed to remove the plastic film. We will now secure the glass bed with a couple of binder clips from the Mart of Wall or the Tree of Dollar. Please note you do not have to go all the way in on these clips. I simply clip them on the very tips of the clip. You may be surprised to notice that the notched magnetic bed actually allowed a little extra room for those guide pins. You will see that your glass bed may not reach all the way to the back of the hotbed. It may even appear that you could potentially get away with installing the glass bed in front of those screws. While I do recommend fitting this glass bed up against the front edge of the hotbed, leaving this gap in the rear, doing it without removing these guide pins, is an awfully close fit and it's an easy job to just go ahead and remove them. And there it is. Our Creality Ender 3 S1 Plus has a brand new glass print bed. Now that we have replaced our magnetic bed with the glass bed, it is very important that we run a new ABL and that we set our Z offset. This glass print bed will be higher than the magnetic bed and if you do not set your Z offset, it will grind into the bed. There is a good chance that our firmware will be vastly different. You may be running a different version of Marlin. You may be running the Nebula pad. You may be running the Sonic pad. However, the concepts remain the same. You will need to set your Z offset however it's done in the firmware you are running. Let's go over the basics of doing that now. In your firmware, go to your Z offset setting and raise that Z offset several millimeter, perhaps even setting your Z offset back to zero. Go ahead and home your printer, home your Z. With your hot end homed in center, you will see it's sitting at five millimeters above the bed. If yours is sitting differently, that's fine. We are going to go ahead and bring our nozzle down to zero. Zero will be zero plus the current Z offset adjustment you have set. To 
To avoid accidentally pressing into your glass, switch to a smaller denomination, such as one or even lower. Press down until you reach zero. Continue down until you hit zero. If the nozzle makes contact with the bed, stop moving. Once you're at zero, you should be close to the bed and be able to smoothly move your paper. If the nozzle has pressed into the bed or the paper is stuck under the nozzle, go back and raise your Z offset a little bit more. Some of you may want to continue dialing in your Z offset right here. However, I'm going to suggest you stop and begin a print. Before we continue, go ahead and run an auto bed leveling. Using the stock Creality S1 Plus firmware, you will press settings, you will press leveling, and you will press start. Preferably start a print that has a large first layer and or utilizes a skirt. I am going to start a model with a large flat rectangular first layer. With the print starting, you are going to switch into your Z offset screen and be prepared to move up or down. Watch very carefully when it first starts printing. In the event it gouges into the glass, move your Z offset up as quickly as possible to get the nozzle off the glass. Our hope is that the nozzle begins the print above the glass. Watch closely as it creates the purge line and begins the first layer. Be ready, staring at the nozzle. If it's printing in the air, continue to tap down. You see it's moving around, no good. Keep tapping down until it gets closer to the bed. Take your finger, rub it over the line. It's no good. Keep going down. Rub your finger. Still moving. We're going to go down closer. You can remove the crap that's not sticking. And continue tapping. Oh, you see that? It's starting to stay. I'm going to rub it all the way around. Once it started to stay, it went down just a touch more. If it's not moving and it feels smooth, your Z offset is good. If it's not moving and it feels rough, your Z offset is too low and you should step back up just a touch. But there we go, we've set our Z offset, we've made our ABL, and our Ender 3 S1 Plus is printing nicely on our brand new glass bed. Go ahead and press the OK button or whatever your firmware does in order to save that Z offset. Now that your Z offset is dialed in, you can go ahead and cancel this print and then begin printing something for real. And there it is. We have successfully replaced our magnetic bed with a glass bed and prepared the printer for successful use. You're on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure. Your instructor on 3DRundown.com and replacing this craptacular magnetic PEI bed with a brand new beautiful glass bed was today's adventure. Hey.